Hey guys, so I just finished reading this book of King of Sword and Sky by C.L. Wilson. It is the third book in the Terran Soul series. Guys, I'm a complete idiot because I've read this book series for years and I swear I always thought it was the Fading Land series. But I was wrong. It's called the Terran, Terran Soul series. But anyway, so this book comes directly after this one of Lady of Light and Shadows. This is book two. This is book three. This book starts off immediately with Ellie, the heroine, having to go to the Fading Lands. She's in great danger. They're like, we've got to get her somewhere where we can protect her, where we can teach her how to use her magic because Ellie is so powerful. Like, they don't even know what to do with her. It's discovered that she's the first female Terran soul. So that is a conundrum. Well, to get to the Fading Lands, they have to go through this mist. It's called Fairy Mist. And this mist judges you. Well, the mist was giving Ellie and Rain a real hard time. And they just kind of blazed their way through. Like, whatever, you're not keeping us out. We're going to do what we got to do. Now, a lot of people that have not met Ellie, a lot of the Fae that have not met her, they don't trust her because of what she's been able to do. They think that, you know, she's going against God's will. And, like, half of them don't trust her. The other half are like, oh, my gosh, she's the best thing ever. Ellie is a person that is so kind and sweet and loving that she cannot stop herself from doing certain things. Um, she's a healer. They call her Shadowlands. So she's a natural healer, a natural empath. So she cannot stop herself from healing people. Like, she just can't. In the instance, she heals a group of warriors called the Rasa. And she doesn't think about the pain that it's causing her and healing them. And the only thing that stops her from completely kind of destroying herself is that someone's like, you're hurting your mate, Rain. And she's like, oh my god, I can't. So... Ellie's main goal for the Fading Lands, besides learning her powers, is to help save the Terran. Because if you read book one and two, you know that the Terran and the Fae are dying. And it's been told to Rain that Ellie can help them. Well, she's hitting wall after wall after wall. She can't figure it out. And meanwhile, she brings back the, a disgraced warrior, Galen who happens to be one of my favorite characters throughout the whole series. He is, like, maybe two or three or four. He's, like, definitely top five. And people are giving him crap. But he deserves it, and he doesn't deserve it. He's one of those characters. He's one of those gray area characters. He's done so many bad things, but the reasoning for them were good so you can't exactly be mad at them but you can't exactly agree with them because some things were shady but um so Galen is assigned from Rain to train their soldiers because they feel a war is coming with the, the mage sorry that's my arm they feel that um a war is coming with the mages well lo and behold people give Galen crap and he had to show him like yo y'all been hiding behind this mist for a thousand years you don't know everything you're behind your enemy is stronger faster wiser you are weak you've been training but you don't know what's going on in the front lines he had to show him up <clears throat> and a lot of them had to accept okay we need this information because if we're going to war we're going to get slaughtered there's not enough of us comes to find out Marissa who's been a prominent character in each book she's like the head healer is pregnant which comes into play and I don't want to give too much away but Ellie has to do some things to save the Terran because of course you know these books are happy lay after to save the Terran that get her in big big trouble not only her but rain and because they're in trouble they have to kind of leave the Fading Lands. And a slew of warriors go with them. But I find it interesting. 
that there is a, co- a political aspect to this book that I did not suspect. It's kind of like, who really is running the show in the Fading Lands? Is it the King Fae? Or is it another governing body? You don't know until somebody tries to pull the punch. And you're like, oh, okay. That was an okie doke. And I'm wondering how long this is going to go on. You know, you know, it's the thing. It's kind of a fantasy. So, you know, the king is supposed to be absolute power. Well, they ain't trying to hear that. Some of these people are not trying to hear it. And I believe a lot of it is because of hurt feelings and distrust. And I get it. <clears throat> Things are happening so fast. Like these three books, I believe, was in like a two or three months span. And because the first book and the second book. The first book, Raymond, Ellie, and they were supposed to have a a six-week betrothal, and they get married at the end of the second book. So this is about a a two- to three-month span, I would say. Now, I'm interested to see what's going to happen in the next book. And the next book is called... Let me see if I can find it. Oh, come on. It is... Hold on, that's an order copy. I had to rebuy these books a couple times. The next book is of Queen of... Song and Soul. Let me see if you can see that. It's this one right here. At the bottom right. Queen of Song and Soul. Guys, when I said I read I read these books about once a year. And these books have been out for over 10 years. I'm pretty sure. They've been out a long time. Um, let me see when this one came out. This one. Huh. 2008 this book came out in 2008 so I've had this book for a long time and I'm pretty sure I've re- I've rebought all these books um but I don't want to give anything too much away old characters come up back up in this and they cause trouble a new character comes in and you're like oh you really are <clears throat> A jerk is a, a nice way of putting it, and he is more than that. But I believe this was not one of my favorite books, I will say. It kind of drug on. I was like, yo, I'm not feeling how you're not trusting every, what everyone else is telling you. But I see why this book was vital. It gives you some information. It sets it up for the next book. Now, the next two books, if I'm remembering correctly, are some of my favorites. Like, this whole series is my favorite, I'm not going to lie. Um, so I want to leave you there because this is approaching eight minutes and I don't want to give anything else away. So if you happen upon this review, this is not the first book in the Terror and Soul series. The first book is Lord of the Fading Lands. This one. And then the second one is of Lady of Light and Shadows. It is a five book series. It is excellent. I am still waiting for this author to write more. She promised to write more. She got ill. I don't know if she lost her contract. I did not keep up. But if it ever comes to my attention that she's written more books about the warriors of the Fading Lands, you best believe I'm a buyer because I am hooked on this these books. I um when my mom was alive, I even had her hooked on them. She was like, when's the next one coming out? And we would have long discussions about what we thought was going on. So if you like fantasy, I would definitely say pick this series up. It's by C.L. Wilson. It is the Terrence Soul series. Like I said, the first book is Lord of the Fading Lands. The second book is of Lady of Light and Shadows. The third one is of Sword and Sky. The fourth one is of Queen of Song and Souls. And the last one is of Crown of Crystal Flame so have a good day night weekend you know midnight read whenever you stumble upon this and i will talk to you guys later bye